So now let's talk jobs. We've told you about Train for Jobs SA, the multi-million dollar program started during the pandemic to help thousands of people get back to work. Here's the thing, though. Only a third of the people who applied got a job through the program. The night team's Patty Santos has an update on that program, and she also reports that there is optimism for a similar plan that's already voter approved. Back in the summer of 2020, the city of San Antonio launched Train for Jobs SA, offering long and short term training and a stipend for those who lost their jobs during the pandemic. The goal of that first program was to try and help people get some immediate reskilling or retraining so that they could find a job in 20, you know, 20 or 2021. $65 million were poured into a program that was supposed to help up to 10,000 people. Enrollment for the program ended three weeks ago with lackluster results. About 5,000 entered into training. Just over 1,000 found jobs and over 1,100 are still looking for jobs. Some are still in the program, others dropped out. I think more people found their own way back into the uh, workforce than we anticipated. It took a while to gain some momentum um, within the program. Um, there's a lot of factors that contributed to that as people are adjusting their lives around the, the pandemic. Mike Ramsey, the director of the Workforce Development Department, is spearheading the next phase of the city's efforts to train its workforce. The voter-approved $200 million essay ready-to-work program is expected to launch in the spring. We just want to get as many people as possible assistance. Um, that's our goal. Um, you know, it's hard to predict um, in the very beginnings of a program, how many people are going to take advantage. There will be no stipends this time around, and the training is more long-term focused, with a stronger say from hiring companies. Um, they're looking at which training programs are approved for the work program on a quarterly basis so that we can have the flexibility to adjust and shift with the market. And he tells me this is a long-term investment for this community. That means we're not going to see results until a few years from now. He also says there's going to be a strong push to get grassroots community organizations involved so they can send clients to this program. You can pre-register for this program by calling 311. There are some eligibility requirements. We have all that information for you on CaseHead.com. Steve, Stephania.